Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Apex. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix out the crashes into the Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. Guys, I know a lot of people are getting the crashes, and I also make a lot of video on this topic. And also, my videos help a lot of people to fixing out the crashes. So, guys, this time the crash is different. So, here in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix out the crash into the Chapter 2 Season 5. So guys, the first thing which you need to do guys, just simply update your old driver on your PC, your chipset driver, your audio driver, your GPU driver or guys, all the drivers. So for this, I'm just showing you a software, the link of that software into the descriptions of my this video. So just go there and download this software, which is the driver booster 8. I will give you the link of the software. So just simply install this software on your PC. Just right click here and go for the open. So guys, here is the interface of the driver booster. Guys, it is guys free of course, and this is a trial version. So just click on the scan button, and guys, it is scanning your all the driver on your PC, which is not guys fully updated. So guys, here is my all the guys software. So just click onto the all, and just click onto the update it now. So guys, it will give you a chance to just update to use the software one time in a day. So guys, use the software. Just one time in a day, just click on to this all and just simply update it on your PC. Guys, you can check it out here, the 9 out of devices driver and 5 not installed game components. So guys, not installed on my PC right now. So guys, just first of all, just update your all the guys software by using this software. So guys, just after updating out all the guys chipset or the other drivers on your PC, now it's time to also update the driver for your GPU. Just for updating your GPU driver, go on to the Google Chrome or any other browser and just guys type here AMD drivers. If you are an AMD user, so just go on to the AMD driver and support for the Radeon and the Radeon Pro. You can also download this auto-detect driver for the AMD and you can also guys go with the manual method. Just click on the graphics, just select out your series of your graphics card and just select out the series and select out your GPU model. Just click on the submit button just after selecting out your uh, GPU go for the Windows 10 64 bit if you have or the Windows 7 if you have this one So I have Windows 10 go to this click on the download button and download this latest driver for your AMD video on. But if you are the Nvidia GeForce users and you're using the Nvidia graphics card So just type here Nvidia drivers in your Google search. Just go for the download the Nvidia drivers and guys, here is the interface for the NVIDIA driver download. Just select out your product type. You have the GeForce, Titan, RTX, guys, any guys, just simply select out the product type, select out the series of your product, and select out your product model. So I have the 1650 Super, so select out this one. Select out your uh, Windows 10 64 bit. Here is the download type. So, guys, make sure to download it for the gaming driver because it is the best driver for the gaming. And, guys, if you are using it for the studios, so you can go with the standard. But I will recommend you because this is a problem with your Fortnite. So, just go on to the game and the driver, click on the search button, and just simply update your driver onto the latest version. So, guys, I have already done this all the step. I have updated my driver, I have updated my all the guys' chips driver. From the official website of the asus so just after updating your driver guys now you need to also download this pack which is the fortnite season 5 crash fix pack for the 2021 so just after downloading it just extract it on your desktop open up this folder and guys here is these two files first is the guide for fixing the crashes and next this is the visual pack so just click on the right click here run this app administrator so guys here is the interface for the microsoft visual c plus plus just click on the I agree all the term and condition and just click on the next. Just after installing this software, just click on to this close button. Close out it. And guys, now we are going to create a powerful power plan for our PC and also delete out all of the temporary crashes file from our PC. For just deleting out it, you need to just simply press Windows plus R button together from your keyboard. Now just type here percentage, temp and press percentage again. Click OK and it will take you here into this folder. Press Ctrl A or drag out all of this file. Right click here and delete all this file from here. Guys, some file is using in the background, so just click on to do this for all and skip this file for all. Just after doing out it, now just close out it. Again, press Windows plus I button from your keyboard. But now this time press Stamp and press Enter. Select all of these files, delete it, and just after deleting out it, now go for the recycle bin and empty your recycle bin from here. 
so guys now here is the other most important step guys it is also happening because of your cpu or also for your ram so guys for fixing out it you need just simply press again windows plus r button from your keyboard now type here mf config and press enter guys it will take you on to the system configuration windows just go into the boot sections Go for the advanced option and just click on the number of processor and select the maximum number of processors you have. Now go for the maximum number of the RAM and you click here so it automatically gives you the maximum number. Click OK, apply the settings and click OK again. Just after doing it, it will ask you for restarting your PC but not, we are going to yet restarting it. So guys just after changing out the RAM and the CPU settings now it's time to guys just optimize your windows for the gaming. So guys go for the windows settings click on the windows icon and go for the windows settings. Go for the updated security and guys make sure you have the already up to date version of the windows. Just after updating your windows go for the delivery optimizations and just turn off these options. Now go for the windows security guys if you are getting the crashes still after doing all these settings so just go for the uh virus and the threat protection and just turn off the virus protection so guys if you are still getting the issue after turning off the viruses so just turn it on back because this is not your actual problem so just close out this window go for the home sections again now this time go for the private sections go down for the background apps and turn off all of the background application which is running on your pc just after doing out it now go for the home sections again go for the gaming and make sure to guys turn off these options from here Go for the capture settings also turn off all of the settings from here now go for the gaming mode and guys if this option is disabled or turn off on your pc so just turn it on right now after updating your windows because guys this is the actual thing which will cause the crashes on your pc because it is going unstable your windows and therefore you are getting the crashes on your pc so just guys after turning on these options just close out this window and now guys we are going to do some optimizations for our fortnite directory so just go into the directory where you have installed your fortnite by default this is the c location i also installed it on my c drive but this is uh different in your case where you store it just go onto the directory where you have installed it so i've installed it in the c drive here is the epic games here is the program files go for the epic games folder fortnite fortnite games binary win64 and guys here is all these directory files of the fortnite so guys here is the first one which is the fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file just go into the properties of these files go for the compatibility sections just check mark here on to run this program in the compatibility mode and next here is guys option which is disable the full screen optimization just disable this option from here if you have check mark here on to the run this program as administrator so just uncheck this box right now because this is the main problem of your pc crashing or your game crashing so just go into the change high dpi and just also uncheck this box from here click ok apply the settings and click ok again do the same stuff for all of these four active file and just after doing out the step now guys you need to just simply open up your epic games launcher as the administrator just right click here run this administrator and guys if you are using the dx12 so just use the dx11 because it is more stable so guys here is the question how can you change your dx so just for this you need to go into the uh epic games lounger go for the settings scroll down and here is option for the fortnite here is the additional command line just type here d3 d11 and just close out the epic games launcher just after doing out all of these steps so guys just after doing out all of these tweaks now guys you need to just simply restart your pc and enjoy your game and guys if you are still getting any crashes on your pc so guys the link of my instagram or the discord server into the descriptions of this video just go there and contact me there i will help out you to fixing out this issue so guys till at the next video allah hafiz and bye bye